Are you still dancing? Take your seats. Of the greatest Nigerian students, articulate Nigerian students, greatest Bobo, greatest Bibi, Kulu Kulu. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Your Excellencies, distinguished and eminent personalities, the voices you just heard are those of student leaders from across or your state. They are still basking in the euphoria of the brand new 28 buses that the governor gave to them. We can still see the buses. Eshio, Eshio. Thank you. Your Excellencies, we have to proceed with today's event. Thank you. Honorable Victor, please. Thank you very much. We have to proceed with today's event. At this juncture, it gives me great pleasure to welcome us all to the flag off of the road infrastructure component of the Senator Rashidi Adewolu Ladoja Circular Road, the old 32.3 kilometers. For those who might just be coming here for the very first time, you will be wondering, I thought we are here to flag off. Well, you are here to celebrate with an engineer who starts work even before he starts work. Because right here, we can see that bridges have already been constructed and completed. It takes a Sheyuma Kinde to do this. And we are just flagging off the road infrastructure. I think we need to give a round of applause to the governor here. I'd like to briefly recognize our governor one more time and his governor colleague, and that will do for recognition here today. Please, one more time, with a round of applause, I appreciate Vice Chairman Nigerian Governors Firm, an executive governor for your state, His Excellency, Governor Sheyi Makinde. A round of applause for him, please. This is Ibadan. We say Sheyi Eda. Thank you very much. Sitting right beside our governor is his brother, Governor. He once was a governor before he actually got, got voted to become a governor. Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria and now currently executive governor of Anambra State. Please, a round of applause for His Excellency, Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, CFR. A round of applause for His Excellency, please. Governor, Governor. Uh, Governor. Your Excellencies, I'd like to also appreciate our own Deputy Governor, His Excellency, Barrister Abdurrahim Adebayo Lawal. I'd like to use the head of the order's arms of government to recognize other people on this high table for want of time. The head of our legislature, Right Honorable Adebo Ogudoi, that's the Speaker of the Your State House of Assembly, and the representative of the Chief Judge of Your State, His Lordship Honorable Justice Ishola M. Ho. Thank you so much for coming, Your Excellency. I crave your indulgence to step down all forms of recognitions so that we can proceed with today's event. It's Friday and it's Ramadan. We must understand. No. So we go straight to the welcome remarks and to deliver that will be no other person other than the Honorable Commissioner for Public Works and Transport, okay. Professor Kainde Dahoud Chongodoyin.
Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of your state, Engineer Lucia Makinde, FNSC. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Suludo. Please permit me to stand on the already established protocol because of time. It is my great pleasure to extend yet another welcome to all of you as we gather here to mark a symbolic and significant milestone in the sustainable development of our dear state. The flag off of the road infrastructure component of Senator Rashid, Adiwa Lado Jasakula Road, a sure impetus for the economic expansion mandate of the current administration in our state. The 32.2 kilometer southeast section of Senator Rashid, Adiwa Lado Jasakula Road, is the first segment of the four quadrants that will make up the entire 110 kilometer circular road. The road was awarded in two lots to meet up the completion period of 18 months. The first lot, which commences from Lagos end of Express Iban Lagos Iban Express interchange, ends at Jago Village. It is a length of um, 15.5 kilometers and was awarded to Mrs. Krimborg Construction Company. While the lot two commences from Jago Village end to where we are today, and that's um, Badiku end, is 16.7 kilometers, and was awarded to Messrs. Kopec Nigeria Construction Limited. The major features of the road infrastructure component of this road include clearing of sites, which has been completed, excavation of site drains, covert underpasses, and flyovers. Artworms, artworks, demolition of existing drains and covert, construction of reinforced trapezoidal line drains, construction of concrete cults, construction of reinforced concrete red red retaining walls, a 150 mm thick stone pitch pitching, and construction of pavement structure with 250 mm thick lateratic subbed cords, 250 mm thick crushed stone base course and 70 mm thick asphaltic con concrete bind co uh, binder course and 50 mm asphaltic concrete wearing course and installation of road furniture. It is expected that the city of Banda will enjoy great relief from the Itato scenario regarding traffic congestion throughout through, through by passing the heart of the town, such as Lagos Ibadan, Togate Challenge, Iwo Road, Interchain and Adibai by offering an alternative route on the proposed Senator Rashidi Ladoja circular road to the project being flagged off today. Aside from the decongestion benefit which will, which will be achieved within the Badan metropolis, metropolis, which itself will lead to ease of doing business through seamless movement of vehicles, this project also has prosperity to further push the economic fortunes of the Peseta state to the north, to the promotion of commerce, trade, and industry, as well as to the eastern part of Nigeria. Moreover, the construction of this road will generate employment opportunities for our teaming youth to the local content policy of His Excellency's Ejina Shemakinde's administration. It will also provide a vast platform for growth of real estate to the expanded proliferation of petrol stations, hospitalities, industries, and so on. As we embark on this momentous endeavor, I hold all stakeholders to work hand in hand with the dedication and commitment to achieve the target outcome of this iconic project of our dear state. At this juncture, I wish to express my sincere appreciation and that of the Minister of All Works and Transfers to His Excellency Angela Olushe Makinde, the Executive Governor of Peseta State, for his determinedness in making this iconic and economic boasting project in reality. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I have the greatest honor and privilege to welcome you all to official flag off of the road of the Ibadan, uh, of the Senator Rashidi Ladoja Circular Road Infrastructural Component, which is a 32.2 kilometers. God bless you and thank you all. A round of applause for the Honorable Commissioner for Public Works and transport, Professor Kane De Dahoud Shongo doing. Your Excellency will proceed to the next thing on the agenda, which is the overview 
of the project. I am convinced that of the two contractors, one will be representing the two of them. And um, that would be MD Kope Construction Company Limited, Mr. Isam Fegale. He's also speaking on behalf of Kremberg. You're welcome, Mr. Isam. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Oyo State, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Anambra State, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Oyo State, all uh, traditional rulers, uh, dignitaries, officials here present. We are here today to flag off the uh, circular road, the first phase of circular road, 32.2 kilometers. Uh, well, uh, this, this road particularly has been, uh, many uh, administration before has embarked tried to embark on it with no success until Oga came on board and we are here to flag off this uh, monumental rule. We thank your excellency for your uh, trust in us and we will guarantee you that we'll finish on a record time as known before and with the best quality and speed. Thank you very much your excellency. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, without further ado, we we'll take vote of thanks. And that will be delivered by a former Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is also co chair of your state elders' council. Please make welcome Elder Wale Oyelese for the vote of thanks. Baba wa Elder Wale Oyelese no bawa soro dupe. To God be the glory today for making such a day to come to pass. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor for your state, Engineer Lushei Makinde, and the counterpart from Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo. Our KBACs here present and all the distinguished personalities who are here today. Today is one of those days when there are things to be said, but which time will not permit us to do so. But since I've been asked to do the vote of thanks, I want to thank the Lord for making this thing possible. Listening to the contractor who told us or gave us an overview of this project. He mentioned that this road has been programmed for so many years without anybody taking up the courage to get it started or get it done. But somehow, the man with the Midas touch came on board and he changed the narrative. And today, Today we are thanking God that God has used our governor, our, our action governor, Engineer Shei Makinde, to take up the challenge and decide to construct this iconic and history-making road, the circular road. There is no doubt about it that this road is very strategic for the development of Ibadan. Because I imagine that our governor has been forward looking to ensure that Ibadan can have a new face. And we thank God that this is happening today. I am not concerned about people who try to run down what the administration of Engineer uh, Sheyi Makinde has been trying to achieve in Oyo State. But I think what we see are enough to let us know that this is an administration that is going to leave a very big legacy for your State and also leave a shoe or a pair of shoes that may be difficult for just anybody to step into. 
But I want to thank God that our governor has never allowed himself to be distracted from his objectives. And for those of the people, the detractors, who may be asking for what uh, the governor has done, it would take a blind man not to see what our governor has been able to achieve in Oyo State since he came on board. I need to put this one on record because we may not know. There is a place called Challenge in Ibadan. Uh, I'm sure Professor Soludo would have heard about Challenge before. And uh, I know that somebody planned that a flyover should come from Challenge across Ring Road towards Lagos Road, which could have cost billions of, billions of naira to construct. But the ingenuity of our governor ensured that instead of constructing a flyover, he did a reconstruction of that area just like the one you went, you already commissioned today by putting the lights, rearranging the streets, and cost just a fraction of what it, it could have cost the state. And that tells you about his ingenuity and his management of resources of the state. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, there are stories and there are things to be said, but which time will not admit, permit me to say. But I want to say this much, and that is to thank everybody who had cooperated with the governor, all the civil servants, all the executives, all our people, for making this uh, thing achievable. And for those people who may not see what the, uh, the governor has been doing, and people who may want to be asking, what has he done? I say boldly that our governor has done a lot. And I just want to sing a little song before I go to sit down for those people who may be asking questions. And that is, Oluche ye 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 ono, aye ye ku, aye ye ibadon. And uh, to let people know that uh, the governor <laughs> has done what other people have not been able to do. And that is enough to ask everybody in our state to keep on encouraging our governor. For people who should be working and giving us light in our state, and Ibadan especially, and who have not been giving us light, I want to say to them, this is not the time for politicking, but the time for action. Awuye wuye, 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 Let other people copy our governor and let them contribute their quota to the development of all your state. Thank you very much. A round of applause for Elder Wally Oyelese Oroagba. Hello. Ah, ni o tu o yo o yo la ni o tu she. For those who does not know, is a former Minister of Power and Steel. So if he's sending message to the current Minister of Power, mm. he is capable. Hmm. 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 Oni le ama kwe go mi na ra luse yima kinde. Eh? Eh? Se a ori re. Oh yeah. I'm a student in a caravan. Oh, my se for Tony Lake, and now go salary. Nickel, your twenty eight buses. Go salary. If I want tomato, yeah, to want to buy any gates, money. I want my name. You want Bolaco, and I want fine. See, I said, Motor to my day, I'll find a silly. As you cause only one, I require what to my way. See, as you say, Your Excellencies, distinguished and eminent personalities here present. Ibia will I do. It's time to hear from the number one citizen of your state. Or do do I so dead at all? Allah no mekunu. Go me na ralu. 
please with a round of applause make welcome vice chairman nigerian governors forum and executive governor of your state our one and only gsm give it up for his excellency uh, governor Sheyi Makede Sheyi Edo Community Amo Makede Sebebe Apio Sebebe Eyeya Amo Makede No Senta No Sona Yepo Please uh, sit down Let's have a seat Aluta Victoria Eshu Eshu Your Excellency my dear brother the Executive Governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, CFR. Well, thank you for being with us since uh, uh, this morning. I know the time is uh, fast spent. Uh, let me stand on the already uh, established protocol. Uh, but let me recognize uh, here uh, MD of uh, uh, Krimberg and uh, Kopec. Uh, I'll keep coming every two weeks, like I promised, until this project is delivered to time. And uh, well, the budget is gone through the window now. Well, we'll manage it. And uh, PG, uh, CCII, Moki, uh, you know. Uh, let me uh, welcome you all to the second phase of activities for today. Uh, the last time we were at this location, we flagged off the construction of the bridges and interchanges. Those have now been completed. So we're here to flag up the 32.2 kilometer road infrastructure component of this southeast wing of the Rashidi Iladoja Sakula Road, Ibadan. To ensure that this very important project to the economic development of our state is done, we had to break down east and northeast wings. And I am almost certain the southeast wing, the 32.2 kilometers, is almost done. Uh, from the original uh, award uh, amount, we've paid 60%. I know they are coming back to me with to ask for more money because uh, uh, the cost has gone through the roof since we flagged this off. And for uh, people saying that uh, the exchange rate will normally go up when governors receive a uh, FAC. Well, when we receive FAC and I pay Copec and Krimberg, they will go and buy asphalt. Asphalt is imported. That's part of why the exchange rate uh, kept uh, uh, going up. It's not like the governors are chopping the money. So this one is almost done. Within the next few weeks, we will award the clearing of the northeast wing, which is another 34 kilometers. 
that will take us from here to Monia, which is where we have the dry port, Ilututu, and also the train station. So if you are going to uh, Mania from here, you don't need to go to Iwo Road. Just get on the circular road and you're, you're there. So let me greet my brother, His Excellency Professor Charles Chikuma Soludo. As we do in Yoruba land, Eku uh, Ijoko, well, this is what we say when we've kept our visitor sitting for a while. And it has been a while as we came from the commissioning of the Junction Improvement at Agodi Gate Civic Center in Idiakwe. Let me sincerely thank you for taking time from your very busy schedule to spend the day with us. We appreciate you. And thank you, Anambra people, for at least uh, letting him come to uh, carry out this assignment for us. At this very critical stage in our national development, it is important that we find ways of working together as a people. This is not the time to focus on things that divide us. Rather, we should be interested in things that unite us and things that will lead to further development. It is also the time to think sustainably. This project is a project of thinking sustainably. And some people may have, uh, they may dream dreams, but the actualization will have to be carried out by others. About 20 years ago, our past leaders, they dreamt of this. This is the type of thinking that should lead to meaningful development. But that dream is being actualized today by this current administration. We must stop thinking only about the present, but take actions that will secure our future. Yes, some people might say we have to survive today to benefit from the future. Uh, let me say this. The essence of a future first, or thinking sustainably, is not primarily that we benefit that we will benefit from that action. It is that the future will be better. So this is a project that will make a better future for us in the Baden land and in Oyo State in general. And I can see the people uh, waving the uh, olive uh, I think uh, uh, the uh, branches uh, out there. I will address them once I leave, once we finish this. I will go to them and talk to them. This is for development of Ibadan land and or your state. For some of them, that are going to be displaced with their new papers, we will compensate them. For some, we will relocate them. But this is a government that you have put in place. I'm sure 90% of you in that place voted for this administration. Because how can we go to the polls and then my opponent did not win a single polling unit in this entire Ibadan land, including this area, you must have voted. So I will address you and your fears. I will allay them. I know that 
My brother, Professor Soludo, will want to say a few words to the flag off. So I'll be, I'll be yielding the podium to him. After his remarks, we will proceed to flag off the 32.2 kilometers southeast wing. Your Excellency, we crave your indulgence. Why will you invite the Governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo CFR? Once again, our Governor will be presenting another token, which is the emblem for your state. Oluku wan lati ipinle Anambra. E ri pe ile oyo, oyo to ko ni mara ni. And the next voice you'll be hearing will be that of the governor of Anambra State, His Excellency Professor Charles Chukuma Solido CFR. Your Excellency. Is it on? Oh, thank you very much. Um Oh, you want me? Okay, Ibo Kwenu. Ibo Kwenu. Ibo Kwezwenu. <laughs> That's how you want me to start. Your Excellency, my brother and leader, the Vice Chairman of Nigeria Governors Forum, Engineer Shei Makinde, GSM. Now, I have to, you know, when I saw the GSM under this, I have, it took me quite a few minutes to decode it. Real GSM, everywhere you go. Eh? Everywhere you go, GSM. Uh, thank you very much. And um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I think I want to rest on the existing protocol. This is to join you once again. I'm so overjoyed today witnessing this history and being part of it. Here we've come for the flag off of yet another very symbolic this time, very magnificent, game-changing project. The Secular Road. The Ladoja. Aha. Uh -huh. You still have a governor for your state there. Ah. That one. <laughs> anyway, let me not get there. Even though I know I, uh, I am, to, to a very large extent... And our your state, um, somehow or the other, a significant chunk of me has been spent in our your state here, but as a copper, and then even at the University of Ife, when it was the old or your, I lived at number 20 on the road, in Le Ife. I still remember that when I get there, and the Diganga Hotel and all the places where we were all around Ife. <laughs> And went to shop at Oja Toto, uh, then it was a new market, so to speak. Now, but my brother, I've come to felicitate with you and to thank and commend you and encourage you. Sometimes I said it when I was speaking at the earlier event politicians think about next elections. But statesmen think about the next generations. And what we have witnessed today, what I have seen today, this secular road and the junction improvements there, because like I said before, you'll be thinking about new cities, new areas, new vistas of opportunity, but we must regenerate the existing ones. Otherwise, they degenerate into uh, chaotic ghettos. So the battle that I knew in the 80s and 90s, it's not the battle that I saw on this trip. I saw something fundamentally different. Driving from the airport and driving through much of the city, you could breathe some breath of fresh air. And that's because a man who has the passion, the love, and persevered, and applied for this job and persevered to get it. 
And thank God, the great people of Oyo State, you employed him to do the job. And from what I can see so far and what I have heard from the people, he is doing an amazing job of it. So congratulations, my brother. And uh, this road, when I say it is a project for the future, for the next generations, because in the next 50, 60, 100, 200 years to come, that's the only equivalent I can make of it from the, the drawing that I've seen in the entire way that it circles the entire Ibadan land. It's just akin to the beltway around Washington, D.C. That's what I can say. This was designed hundreds of years ago. And so, 100, 200 years to come, this secular road might become the beltway of a battle. And that's what we are here today to witness. And I'm very excited to have been here, to be part of it, and to say once again, big congratulations to our brother. And then, for all of us, I have come from Anambra, um, quite a lot of parallels and validation of some of the things we are doing, and then also picking a whole lot new ones. Uh, because like I said be before there, he is my elder brother in this journey. I think this is his fifth year on the job. I am only a two-year-old baby on the job yet. So I have quite a whole lot to learn from him, and I have quite learned a lot. So it's really a great pleasure to be here and uh, to be back in Ibadan, to be back in Oyo State, um, the land that I actually have sojourned in for an extended period of time. Um, I love this, and the handshake across the Niger and across all the rivers of Nigeria. It's very, very important. Recently, I appointed uh, 18 permanent secretaries. And one of them, one of the 18, happened actually to come fortuitously. Not by design. It's not because my primary assignment was at Ileife. But it was fortuitous that he happens to come from Oshun State. One of the uh, 18 permanent secretaries I just appointed two weeks ago, uh, so to speak. And so this is one great country. And we need to crisscross learn from each other, support each other to move this country, this country that it has pleased God to make the greatest, the largest black nation on earth. Let's make it one of the most powerful countries on earth by getting onto life-changing, transformative infrastructure development for the 440 million Nigerians soon to come by 2050 and close to a billion Nigerians at the turn of the century. It is this kind of project that will secure that future that our Ebo governor and brother ably and eloquently spoke about. Let's claim that future today. There's nothing more to say but to say I'm so excited, so overwhelmed. I wish I could spend even days, not even hours, uh, here in Oyo. But all I promise is that I will come again, again, and again. The next time I come, then maybe go to UI to some of my um, uh, colleagues, and then um, to your uh, IITA, and then get down to Ife, get back to my 20 on the road, and so on and so forth, and the Ganga Hotel, and the Oja Toto, and all of those, and I'm looking forward to all that trip uh, once more, uh, particularly maybe then through the ring road, the secular road, upon completion. Today you're getting off the 32 kilometers, and I look forward to really, you know, coming to drive through. Thank you very much, and God bless you. God bless all your state. God bless Anambra, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. We'd like to invite members of the I table to join the two governors as they proceed to cut the tape. Right here, Your Excellency. As they proceed to cut the tape to flag off the road infrastructure component of the Senator Rashidi Adewo Luladoja Secular Road. 32.2 kilometer first phase of the 110 kilometer circular road. A massive project. Check. In the led administration of your state. As His Excellencies proceed to cut the tape.
please be informed that the governor of your state will also be addressing individuals, families who have come to express their opinions about the ongoing constructions true, 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 and true. the demolitions. Construction is ongoing here and demolition is happening as well. His Excellency will be addressing them as well. Go me now, Pindu, you are at it, Anambra. What in Lossi? EBT, what is she so low? You can you pay at the flag? Awful. Then, yeah, go me now. Now, can see I want to do boy. Thank you very much for coming. Shall we take the national anthem? Once again, thank you for coming on behalf of the Executive Governor of your state, His Excellency Governor Sheyi Makinde. We appreciate all our fathers, our elders, our royal fathers, distinguished and eminent personalities from your state and across the nation. The Governor of Anambra State, His Excellency Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, and all invited guests. Thank you for coming to the flag of, of the road infrastructure component of the Senator Rashidi Adewolu Ladoja Circular Road, the 32.2 kilometer segment of the whole 110 kilometer circular road. Once again, thank you for coming. At this juncture, His Excellency shall proceed to address affected individuals and the demolition ongoing to pave way for the circular road. Once again, thank you. We appreciate you. Have a great weekend. From the live telecast, we'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned. Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned.
Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned. Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned. Welcome back from the live telecast. You know, growth and the general welfare of the people. Uh, that's, that's very critical. Well, interesting uh, stuffs to expect during the